Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for June 1st, 2021. Well, my goodness, I hope everyone had a fantastic holiday weekend, got some rest. We're going to start this day with a, quite a little bit of bullishness showing up this morning in the market. So, what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle into our office chairs, buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone had just a wonderful weekend. And we've got the bulls really pushing here this morning. Um, Last night when futures opened, they actually opened a little bit lower. But during the night, uh, the bulls found some inspiration with some really good economic data coming out of Europe. Europe this morning is hitting some new record highs. And not to be outdone, those futures are pushing very hard this morning here in the market. So let's take a look at the chart, see if we can gain some information from this. And... Um, decide how we want to approach the market for today. So first off, let's talk about trend. Um, if we take a look at these charts, we certainly see that we have trend. Um, we have this bullish trend. We, If you remember, we held that 50-day moving average right in here. And then we ch were challenged by this, but we eventually broke through this resistance here in the chart, pushing on up. So as you can see in the pre-market, we have this big bullish candle. We're looking at a substantial gap up. As a matter of fact, at this moment, Dow futures are suggesting 230 point gap up um, this morning. But we do have a problem up here. Let's also remember we have some price resistance up here and this big old shooting star up here in that chart. So Diamond still has a little bit of work to do, although we're showing lots of bullishness this, this morning. And let's also you know, keep in mind that we want to be careful not to chase into stocks that are already well up off of their support levels just in case there is that possibility that we could gap up this morning and then find sellers um, that could push that down. So let's watch this closely and see whether or not there's actually going to be some follow through buying at the open rather than a pop and drop. So be careful rushing or chasing in. Now, having said that, if we take a look at the SPY, SPY has a great opportunity um, really, really close opportunity to maybe reaching up here and catching a all-time high, um, maybe even at the opening gap. So watch that carefully. We're pressing, we're trying to push on through here. So there is that possibility that that could occur. And I can't imagine institutions are going to miss the opportunity to at least get a new record high. Now, there is also a little bit of a problem with a chart pattern like this, and that is that possibility that we could surge up, hit that new record high, and then find sellers. And that would constitute that potential double top. So one of the things you want to be really careful of is chasing um, stocks into an open, a big gap up open as we approach a price potential price pattern um, like that, we want to make sure that we're watching pretty carefully just in case those sellers or those bears are up there to defend that area. Now, I got to say, like, like I'm going to repeat this, that I think it, it seems unlikely to me that we're going to get this close. The institutions will pull out everything that they have to attempt to catch that new record high. They want that headline because that attracts more money to the market and continues to add to that buying frenzy that we have seen um, over the last several months here in um, uh, the, the market. So watch that closely. So if we can push on through, and that's what we wanna see, if we can push on through, well, if you're a bull anyway, if we can push on through and then prove to hold this area up here as support, then that's where we get that really nice potential entry for more upside in the market. So watch that carefully and closely. Let's take a look 
at our um, QQQ. Now, this is where we start to run into just a little bit of concern, noticing that the QQQ, we're gapping up this morning, we're trying to push up, but let's keep in mind that we have price resistance up in this area. We also have a little price resistance right here, as you can see in the price action of this chart right through these levels. But then we also have this price resistance right up in here that we still need to um, break through, get through this high over here in the chart. We still have quite a bit of work to get through here in this area. And let's keep in mind that we've got bonds creeping up this morning um, that may prove to be a little bit problematic for the NASDAQ with those inflation worries uh, continuing to creep in. We also want to recognize the outside possibility that what this could be doing is kind of forming up a bigger head and shoulders type pattern. We're going to have to see how we deal with this resistance level up here. Now, if we can push on through, if we can push on through and hold up here, then we may just be in really good shape, new highs, um, everything copacetic in the market, but we still want to be a little bit careful and cautious um, as we press up here. It's really going to be up to those big techs. Can they push on through and really start to recover? Let's take a look at the IWM. Now, IWM is also pushing up this morning, and this had a major improvement last week. You can see pushing up through its 50-day moving average. If we take a look at this chart, however, let's not forget that we still have significant resistance levels in this chart to deal with as we rally up. So we're gapping up, but we still have these big resistance levels in the chart that still need to be overcome. So what we take, or at least what I take away from this this morning, although we're being very bullish this morning and we're pushing for a gap up open, we want to also remember that we have these resistance levels and that's where we could see those bears lined up to defend. So we want to be a little bit careful with chasing the open and getting overly rambunctious here the first thing this morning and just dive in. Uh, because that's where we could catch those pop and drop patterns and those pullbacks. So watch that pretty closely. Let's wait and see if we can actually get follow through this morning rather than getting caught up in the uh, fear of missing out um, as we press to these um, resistance levels in the charts. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX did a great job last week. Pulling back, we had a little bit of a pop back up toward the end of the day on Friday, but you know, nothing of any consequence there to really worry about. Let's keep in mind that if we take a look at this, this was a, this was the nice break of support that we needed. We needed to see that break back down. And I got to say at this point, I'm not even really worried here of holding any of that downtrend because we've broken that potential um, downtrend support. So I think we're in pretty good shape. If we continue to see bulls push in, and I would suspect that there's that possibility that we would even get a new low here in the VIX today. And that would be a good sign for the market if that fear can continue to drop out. One of the things we do have to also admit to ourselves is as we continue to drop here in the VIX, we may be starting to develop a little bit of complacency in the market. So just stay on your toes, stay focused in case we happen to hit some resistance and see that pullback. Remember, big gap ups create big price volatility as well. So that can make it rather challenging if we do whipsaw around a little bit. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now the T2122 indicator is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see we still um, at the end of Friday um, have that opportunity um, to push on through to the upside. So watch that closely. We have an open door here. And with this gap up this morning, we're likely going to be right up here in that bearish reversal zone in the market. And that is one of those other clues to be really careful not to chase in on big gap up openings near price resistance levels in the chart. If we're up here in that bearish reversal zone, that's exactly where we would 
Um, expect to see those bears fight back a little bit. So watch that closely if we're um, right up in that area. Let's also notice that gapping up into that area leaves a great big open space down here where if that volatility comes into the market, that possibility that we could whipsaw or push back in that chart. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now T21, whoops, T2101 is still a bit problematic to me. It is nice that we rallied a little bit last at the end of last week, bouncing off of these lows. But I gotta tell you, our market breadth indicator continues to be a little bit concerning now hopefully we see that market breadth this morning expand we want to see that market breadth really expand this morning um, with um, this big rally in the morning that would help give us a little bit of assurance that there's actually follow-through buying that possibility we could push on up but let's also keep in mind this long-term downtrend that we have seen here in this chart We've got, we've got some issues here still with market breadth, so watch that carefully. Futures continue to surge as I've been talking. We're now up almost 250 points in the Dow. It's just chase, chase, chase this morning, um, rushing into this pre-market. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar does have a couple things that we'll wanna pay attention to. And as we progress through this short trading week, keep in mind, we've got a few things that could bring the market to a little bit of a pause. First off, let's take a look. We have PMI manufacturing um, here this morning at 9.45. The big number of the day is going to be that ISM manufacturing number. Keep a close eye on that at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern. And then construction spending. And we know construction spending may be running into a little bit of a challenge as these prices continue to surge to the upside. Um, my old lumber supplier, um, talked to my old lumber supplier last week to buy a semi truck load of OSB siding, which is oriented strand board, it's chipboard. 7 16 oriented strand board, the price was $75 a sheet. Um, keep in mind guys, that, that's normally a 12 to $15 uh, piece of material, it's now $75. Um, so we could see construction spending start to lighten up here just a little bit because of these exorbitant prices for lumber. Um, watch that closely. We also want to um, watch carefully. We have another parade of Fed speakers as they continue to go out and continue to say, there's no inflation here. There's nothing to worry about. No inflation here, nothing to see. Um, it it kind of makes you wonder how much longer um, they're going to maintain that credibility continuing um, to say those kind of things. But watch that close because um, we have quite a few Fed speakers this week. And um, we have old Jerome Powell over here himself um, at the end of the week at 7 a.m. So keep that one in mind. We also want to uh, notice that we're going to have a big um, amount of jobs data this week. We've got the ADP report here on Wednesday. We're going to get claims um, on uh, Thursday and then of course that big employment situation number on Friday. So we'll want to keep an eye out for that and just realize that there it's, it's not out of the question. We can see sometimes that the market kind of becomes stale um, as we wait for that employment situation number. So maybe in a couple of days, we start to slow down just a little bit and um, uh, as we kind of wait for that employment situation number to come out, just kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that um, could be setting up. Well, first, no, we better take a look at earnings. Earnings today, we have um, 27 companies on the list for earnings, and uh, several of those are unconfirmed um, reports. Quite a few of those actually are unconfirmed reports. So of the confirmed reports, looking for the notables, whoops, um, looking at those notables, we have a few that we'll want to pay attention to this morning. Let's take a quick look. Whoops. Let's take a quick look at um, some of these stocks. We're going to have Zoom Mobile 
um, will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that during that report. Notice that Zoom Mobile has, or Zoom Video, um, has been in a pretty ugly downtrend. This thing surged and surged and surged during Corona, and now it's starting to uh, drift back. So this earnings report could be really important to it to see whether or not we can actually push through this price resistance and maybe try to regain some um, trend. Um, upside trend in um, that stock so watch that closely we have Kirkland Kirkland K-I-R-K geez I can't type this morning take a few days off and now I can't type um, we have Kirkland reporting today we'll want to keep an eye on that they've been dealing with a major long um, consolidation area here choppy consolidation so we'll have to see if that can push that on through um, AMBA will be reporting today. Notice that this has got a pretty good shot here. I, I like a chart like this that breaks the downtrend. And what we want to see is have this prove that this can now hold some support. So we've got some resistance right in here. If we can break through on earnings and hold up here, there's that opportunity to resume an upside trend. So keep an eye on AMBA. We'll also get some cannabis numbers today. Uh, CGC will be reporting. Here's another one of those charts. And we've been watching these charts in right way options pretty closely, um, trying to break that downtrend. Um, if we can break that downtrend and hold a higher low in here, then there may be that opportunity for some upside in that chart. Watch that earnings report and see how that performs today. Um, APPS, APPS, I put on the list today. Again, downtrending, testing resistance levels. This is going to be an important report today to see whether or not we can break through some resistance or if we fail here at that price resistance in the chart. And then HPE, Hewlett Palette, Packard Enterprise will be reporting today. This has also been locked into this longer term consolidation range up here. So let's watch that carefully. This could be an important a very important report on the future direction here of HPE. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these uh, videos. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone. Oh my gosh, I just never would have expected there'd be this many people um, um, appreciating this kind of content. Um, in fact, um, just went over 20,800 subscribers. So thank you so much, everyone. You guys are awesome. I truly appreciate it. And if you find these videos to be worthy or worthy for today, if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, that helps probably more than anything else. Um, in continuing to let the um, channel grow as those algorithms see that that um, the video is getting engagement and that helps the algorithms to show the video to more folks. So thank you very much, everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly appreciate it. And also a huge shout out to those folks that are taking um, supporting the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee uh, link. If you look, and by the way, I'm not buying coffee with that. That is going to be used for uh, camera upgrades and things like that to improve the channel content. So um, thank you to everyone who has been supporting the channel through that Buy Me a Coffee. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these stocks trying to set up for today or stocks that could be important for today. Let's take a quick look at a few of these. Um, take a look at Microsoft. Now, Microsoft has been, you know, obviously a pretty ugly struggle there in that chart. But here's what I like about this chart right now. We've broken that downtrend here in that chart and we've lifted back up in this price action. And notice we have kind of a bullish flag starting to set up here. It's what I call a pop out of the box pattern. And notice that that has pushed up through some resistance of this double bottom pushed up through and it's held it as support. So I'd want to keep a close eye on this for that possibility that this could continue to push on higher. Uh, maybe one of the stronger of the big techs right now and that opportunity to push on through. So keep an eye on Microsoft. It may be working out pretty good. Um, also, take a look at um, 
MDLZ, Mondelez. Mondelez has been one of those really nice charts here recently and a beautiful upside trend as you can see. And it's been really, really strong. And this is one of those consumer defensive companies. And notice that we continue to reset these patterns over and over where we move up, consolidate over to trend, and then we move up pull back to trend, move up, pull back to trend, move up. And now this time is another consolidation over to trend. And I'm watching this chart carefully right in here to see if there's that opportunity that we can extend here very, very soon and push on through to the upside. So there's another one of those patterns that I really like to trade and it's looking very, very good. Let's take a look at um, a couple other areas. Take a look at gold. Oh my goodness, GLD, very, very strong. And now we're seeing reports that gold could hit some new record highs, some um, guesses anyway, that it could hit some new record highs. Notice that we broke through some significant levels of price resistance in this chart and we have held those price resistance levels as support. And I've got to say, there is seeming to be a pretty good opportunity that we could reach up here into these levels around the 180 level here in gold. Keep a close eye on it. It's looking really good, showing some strength this morning as bonds are starting to creep up. And then I've got to continue to mention silver. Silver looking very, very good, showing lots of strength here. Beautiful upside trend pushing on through today. Now, clearly we have some price resistance levels right here in this chart. Let's go right there. Um, right here in this chart that need to be defeated. So um, whether or not you can push on through there, I can't tell you, but we're showing lots and lots of strength here in silver. Very happy to be holding this position in silver um, at the moment. So I may have a bias on that, kind of keep that in mind. Another place that you might want to take a look was kind of interesting um, into the end of the week. Take a look at the surge that happened here in NKLA. Now NKLA, there's one of these patterns again where we break this downtrend, we push up through some resistance, we hold that resistance as support, and bam, up we go in that chart. Now I wouldn't want to chase this here. As a matter of fact, I think this chart needs a little rest or pullback. So either a pullback into that trend or some consolidation over here toward the trend, but keep a close eye on that. And this, by the way, happens to be a pattern that we call the rounded bottom breakout. The rounded bottom breakout is where the price breaks above that 50 day moving average and holds up in here. And so you can see we pushed up into this next price resistance level. Now what I would watch for in that rest or consolidation is that next opportunity because the ultimate target in a rounded bottom breakout pattern would be up here near that 200 day mo moving average. So watch that closely. Um, let's also take a look at some of the other um, things coming up out of bottoms. We've seen plug power here recently pushing back up. Now, we know this administration is very, very favorable to green energies. Plug power being um, um, one of those that um, has some pretty decent potential if they start to support um, this idea of fuel cells. And take a look at this right in here. We're pressing through this resistance in that chart. So we have that nice little pattern where we pushed up, we held that little bull flag right in here, pushing that up through, and now hold this area right up in here. Hold that area right up in here, and I want to point out that we have that opportunity for that inverted head and shoulders pattern, and that possibility this could push on through. Keep in mind, this is also in that possible pattern where we break back above the 50-day moving average, but there is a problem here, and that is that 50 is crossed down through the 200. That's typically called the death cross. Now, what we want to see is as we push up in here, we wanna see this deal with this area, this resistance area in here successfully. Meaning we wanna see this hold a higher low in this pattern or consolidate this move and then continue to stretch on higher. And then we could see that 50 day turn come right back up through that uh, 
200. So watch that carefully as plug power tries to um, to hold up. So there's a few stocks for you to take a look at that are looking pretty decent for this morning. I want to wish you all a fantastic day of trading. Welcome to June. Summer trading, remember, can be sometimes challenging because volumes can typically drop off in the summers. Everyone is out enjoying the weather. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, I want to wish you um, great success in your trading today. We'll see you right back here, bright and early, Wednesday morning for this very short trading week. Talk to you soon.